And so the mid-season and hectic winter period starts now. After three months of games interspersed with international breaks, it's time for the Premier League to really kick in. That's a loose ball. Again, it's Alexander-Arnold, and it comes to Townsend. Held up by Wijnaldum. That's a lovely ball into Jordan Ayew. Koyate picked out the gun in, and he couldn't score. It's a loose ball. Interesting to see, you see Andrew Robertson showing Andrew Townsend down that right-hand side. He's reluctant to go there because he's left-footed, but it's a lovely little ball. It's flat, it's an absolutely enticing ball. And now Fabinho forward, Sadio Mane. Oh. Well, he's a whisker away from taking it in. Straight ball from Fabinho, but he manages to get it almost inch perfect. It's a little chip, a little dink, and Sadio Mane fractions away from taking it on the half volley. Cuyate again with another positive run. And free kick goes against Van Dijk. Well, it looks as if he's been given that little bit of licence, Cuyate, isn't it? He make these little forward runs. It's Milivojevic again. And the header will go up and over the top via the top of the crossbar from Gary Cahill. One that you always knew was going over, but the goalkeeper just had to keep an eye on it. Well, he doesn't get any real purchase on the header, does Cahill. Zaha just in bit oh, it's a little bit of a push from Alexander-Arnold. As soon as you put your arms on, Zaha went tumbling over. Any time that you lift your arm and there's seen as a, a little bit of movement towards the player, more often than not, 10 times out of 10, you're probably going to give a light a free kick away. And it's a really good delivery, and it's through for James Tompkins, who puts the ball into the back of the net, and Crystal Palace have their lead. It was a better delivery this time from Milivojevic. I think it comes off a Liverpool player at the near post. I'm not quite sure if it was Jordan Henderson or not. not no, it's Ginny Vijnaldum. He just gets a flick on it. And the beneficiary is Tompkins at the far post. There is a little bit of contention. Liverpool felt there was a foul on Dejan Lovren as the ball was delivered. It's whether or not it interfered with the goal itself. They felt that Jordan Ayew pushed Dejan Lovren over. This is the challenge on Dejan Lovren that they're looking at here. Well, Gary, if you give a free kick for the challenge on Trent Alexander-Arnold, you have to give a free kick there. Well, it's pretty simple to me. The free kick that was awarded was a push by Trent Alexander-Arnold on uh, Wilfred Zaha, which was nowhere near as bad as what that push was there. Well, there you go. It's a Liverpool free kick. It's no goal. Well, it stands to reason. Kevin Friend's got it right. He's made one decision to give the free kick. He's then backed it up by giving the free kick. That's Henderson, that's a brilliant ball, and that's Mane! Oh. And Sadio Mane not quite able to take the chance, some ball by Henderson. That little forward run by Sadio Mane, he's the one that's been trying to get in behind Crystal Palace, he's back four. On this occasion, he gets a little bit of room, a little bit of space. Well, here comes Robertson, and that's for Firmino, and Sadio Mane miscues! And it's into the back of the net! It went from one post to the other. It's the ugliest goal Sadio Mane will ever score, but it could turn into such a valuable one for Liverpool. They've been on the back foot, but they lead again. Well, it's not always the ones that come off your foot in the right sort of manner that go into the back of the net. There's a speculative ball came in from Andrew Robertson from the left-hand side. And then a swing of the leg from Sadio Mane. He's been the one that's been most likely to score. We talked about the fantastic record he has against Crystal Palace. He's continued that here this afternoon. And the spin of the ball takes it past the helpless Van Aanholt. And Liverpool take the lead. Shot blocked by Henderson. Van Aanholt. Townsend can hit them, but he hit it straight at Allison. 
Well, the goalkeeper gets his angles right, and it needs to be right as well, because this is a real powerful strike. Here's Robertson. Now Sadio Mane uses Vinaldum as a decoy. And wins Liverpool a corner. Well, that was proper Liverpool moving from one end of the field to the other and another Trent Alexander-Arnold special. And here comes the Liverpool corner. Oh, and it comes all the way through and Dejan Lovren was the one trying to turn the ball in at the far post. Well, I think it's Sadio Mane that oh, just mi misses it and does Lovren as well. Here's Origi, his first involvement, Robertson, and here's Firmino, who's in! Oh, and Juaita has done so well. It's a really good reaction from the Crystal Palace goalkeeper. If he was at fault for the goal, he certainly makes up for it here. But it's Andrew Robertson just toe pokes it into the path of Firmino, who in turn toe pokes it, which he thought was going to be bound for the corner. Van Anholt. Zaha, again with time to move and run at Liverpool and making good use of it. Van Dijk with the header. Van Anholt helps it back in. Townsend, Schlupp, instinctive. And it's only just wide. There was no backlift on it at all. And Alisson might have got a little bit of that, you know. Well, I think he's in two minds, the goalkeeper, whether to make a save or whether just to let it go. His angles are good, the goalkeeper. It's a decent shot, wasn't it? Alexander-Arnold's ball struck Schlupp. Zaha, he's making good ground there, he's taking Fabinho out of the game, and Alexander-Arnold, and he's found Benteke. He's ridden the challenge of Lovren, and Townsend, that's a lovely help, and Zaha scores! It's the best move Crystal Palace have put together all afternoon, and Wilfred Zaha, whose goal record isn't the best, comes up big to get the equaliser. Well, as soon as he picked the ball up, the fans were on their feet, they were expecting something. It's possibly allowed to go too far as Benteke initially there. Credit to Crystal Palace because they've got a lot of bodies in the box. And Sai just skips past Origi. And it's all about whether they can control the finish, which he's been maybe a little bit guilty of in the past. But on this occasion, finds the bottom corner past the helpless Alison Becker. And back on level terms. Fabinho, Alexander Arnold. Right round the back, and Kelly's just helped the ball away. Liverpool have a corner, and it comes through, and it ricochets down, and it's away for Mino. Well, it was a mad ricochet inside the penalty area, and Roberto Firmino just waited and bided his time, and the ball fell kindly to the Brazilian, who slots home, and Liverpool lead again. Well, it's a set play, Liverpool put an awful lot of good balls in on this occasion it's Virgil van Dijk that gets the first bite of the cherry and then it's a little bit of a pinball machine in there not quite sure what the ball is going to go difficult for Crystal Palace to get anybody to put their foot through it and give it a big clearance they don't manage that and inside that sort of area the last person you want the ball to fall to if you're a Crystal Palace fan is Roberto Firmino he's cool as you like sticks it into the bottom corner and just after going on level terms, Liverpool find themselves back in the lead. Now Van Anholt looking in behind for Schlupp. Fabinho's big foot was in the way there, wasn't it? Just stuck it out and made sure that ball wasn't going past, but Crystal Palace have a corner. Cahill and Benteke and Tompkins all wait. It's a horrible delivery, it's not the best clearance in the world. It's Townsend. Oh, it's a lovely reverse ball. Oh! Well, at this level, for that chance, for Wilfred Zaha, you just have to score. Well, there's questions whether he was offside or not, but we didn't see the referee's assistance flag go up. I mean, what you can see is it's a pretty woeful finish for a player of his ability. Liverpool win again. Liverpool just keep on winning. Sadio Mane with the first. And then it looked like Palace were going to nick themselves a point when Wilfred Zaha scored eight minutes from time, but they didn't count on a good old-fashioned goal mouth scramble and Roberto Firmino poking home. It finishes at Selhurst Park, Crystal Palace 1, Liverpool 2.